the benefit of executing a human spaceflight mission end to end is more than the training actually. The supplementary knowledge that you get just by being there, the experience of it, the conversations that you have, the interaction that you have with people who have had a history of uh, human spaceflight, it is invaluable. And I think all of this information uh, that I have been able to collect in the past one year is, is going to be extremely useful for us for our own mission, the Gaganyaan and the Bharatiya Antrik Station. And very soon we shall see somebody traveling up in our capsule from our rocket from our soil. In spite of all this training, you have done so much training, but after that, when you sit on the rocket and when the engine ignites, when they catch fire, I think it is a very different feeling. I had not imagined of how it would feel like. And I was actually you know, running behind the rocket for the first few seconds. I took time to catch up to it. From that point of time till the time we splashed down, the experience has been unbelievable. It has been so exciting and so amazing that I really have been struggling to find words of how do I convey to you so that you live that through my words. Probably I'll take some more time. But uh, the training prepares you very well for the mission, but the experience is very different from what you learn on ground. Witnessing an execution of a human spaceflight mission like this gives you a lot of knowledge, a lot of information. And these are intangibles. You cannot measure them. You cannot just put everything on paper and uh, write it down. The experience uh, goes much beyond and much deeper than what you are uh, you know, documenting or putting in books. So I think that is going to be very valuable for us, for our journey of human spaceflight vision that we are starting. I also realize the power of the scientific temper. The excitement that I saw in kids, the excitement that I saw in people that was there, I had three interactions uh, from orbit with the kids. One was the live event, and then there were two ham radio interactions. And in each one of these interactions, there was at least one kid who asked, how do I become an astronaut? And I think that was the biggest win for me from this mission, that kids here are already thinking that they want to become an astronaut. And the good thing is that we are ready, ISRO is ready, India is ready, with the rockets, with the launchers, that we have the capability now that we can make this dream a reality very soon.